Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I'm Armored Lemon and welcome to Helleborn. We've got a special little feature for you today, which is about this helicopter, the MI2 URP, which is a rank 1 scout helicopter by its official designation. Though, to be honest, it's pretty much everything because it's a scout. It's a transport helicopter. It's got eight soldiers on board. See them all uh, cooped up in there. And it's also, I'd consider it, quite a heavy attack helicopter at this low rank. It's got one 23mm cannon, which is the biggest calibre gun at tier 1. And its options are, well, it's got a gun pod of four PKT 7.62 GPMG machine guns. Um, options, it could also have 32 S5 57mm rockets or the four ATGMs. Um, I'm going to keep it with the gun pod for now and take it into a couple of games, one at each rank. So first we're going to have a rank 1 game on the... I forget what it's called. Vietnam Gulf of Tonkin map, that's the one. And then the Vietnam o Operation Nguyen Hue. I'm probably not saying that right. So I'll show you how it is good at pretty much every objective in a PvE game. So enjoy! Okay, so we're on the Gulf of Tonkin map, the tier 1 PvE game mode, which means we spawn, I think it's the, if you read as the Soviets, excuse that, that's Facebook chat, excuse that, sorry. Okay, so we're on the Gulf of Tonkin map, the tier 1 PvE game mode, and as you can see I've got the MI2 URP in a squadron with the MI1 MU and the KA25. I'll try not to use these, I'll try to solely focus on the MI2 URP in this game mode. We've got four simultaneous objectives on medium difficulty, which I think this helicopter will happily be able to handle. So first we're going to go for Capture Landing Zone 5, not too far away. We can use our eight onboard troops, which will hopefully get us 100% capture on this point. So let's start off a little bit easy, you know, capturing an unheld point. Whoa, that sun is bright. Let's bring it down nicely. There we go. And how many people are going to jump out on this point? Right, we've dropped off four troops. Next, uh, capture landing zone four. And destroy the enemy vehicle group near landing zone four. I'm going to wait until... because that will be patrol boats. So I'm going to wait till they've moved away from landing zone four. Otherwise they're going to they're gonna cause me some hassle. Let's wipe out these troops here. That's them gone. Turn sharp, so the A points at four don't catch me. Oh, these those boats are being annoying. Let's see if we can edge round to take out some boats. And uh, we've got an ally in the game now, which is cool. And he's a K twenty in a K twenty five. What was that? Oh god, a big oh being attacked from ships from all directions. So let's unload on them. One down. Come on, let's get him before I have to reload. They got a lot of ships. Uh, Right, can you use. That's right. Let's take away out these A installations using the gun pods. M capture landing zone four. I've got a bit of damage from the ships and the A points. Nothing to worry about. I think with four troops, I will get 100% capture on point four. Let's bring her down. Oh, being fired at. I think by ships. Let's go find those. Let's go hunt those ships down. Uh, switch back to the 23 millimeter gun. Make short work of ships. Uh, so yeah, there's a scout helicopter. Very light, very nim very nimble, but also carries troops, which is good. Uh, a lot of scout helicopters don't, or they carry very few. This has 10, which is a lot for a sky helicopter that. I think that's more than the Huey Delta at tier 1. Take them out as well. Oh, it's nicked me a bit. Short turn. Let's use the sort of scope, as you call it. Uh, now the captain's landing zone 2. I reload the gun and my ally is going for landing zone 2. He hasn't destroyed the positions there yet, so... Oh, he's been shot down. Okay. 
I don't know how much he's done in terms of taking out the uh, defence points there, so we'll let's go have a look. So I think the K-25 is a ca is a transport helicopter? Uh, yeah it is, so he's not going to have very much much in terms of view range. So I'm going to wait for him to come back, and if I can get him to help out, that'll be good. Because I can light up the targets, and he's coming to help me, that's cool. I'm being shot up by something behind me. That's right, uh, 23mm cannon makes light work of anti-aircraft... Oh, no, yep, just about got him. Just about... Oh, he's in an MI2 UOP as well. Yep, he has also realised that the best helicopter in the game at this level is the MI2. Now, I don't have any troops, actually, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to let him capture that one. And now I'll head on to our next objective, which is capture landing zone 3. Which has got an infantry group near it. Uh, I'm going to go top up my infantry. And we've got a third helicopter that's just joined our game, which is cool. He's in a Yak-24. Oh, that's brave. <laughs> that is brave. The Yak-24 is a fun helicopter to... What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop shooting across my bow. That's not cool. What the hell did I do to you? Right, let's reload troops and have a look at his. Uh, oh, that is that is a nice sight. That is a beautiful sight. I do like the Yak 24. I love playing it, but it's just it's difficult to play. It's just so big. It is just so big. Anyway, I've completely restocked with troops, so let's head on. Oh, there are enemy soldiers around Nalling Zone Two now. And we've lost it, so I'm going to go over there. While Commander, in his Yak-24, is heading south, potentially to support the MI-2 at Landing Zone 3. So let's get our gun pod out. And unload on these infantry dudes. And mostly miss. Whoa, and they're firing their... They fired their RPGs directly into the mountain ridge in front of them. So that's cool. Ow! Whoop! RPG's incoming! Taking evasive action. I don't have any flares or anything. I think they're overrated. They wouldn't help with an RPG anyway. I don't even know why I'm talking about them. And let's get these fellas. Whoop! Whoa, they missed me! They missed. There's him gone. Nope, let's change to the NS23. He's down. Swing back around and get him. Come on. Here we go. There we go. And let's capture the position at the landing zone two. I don't know if I'm going to have enough troops to capture it because it has either four or five A mounts, which take two troops each. Twenty percent, forty percent. Oh, an edge. Whoa. Okay. Enemy troops have already. Enemy troops have already spawned here. So let's, oh no, let's just spin around and take them all out before they destroy all my positions. Yeah, come on, come on, I'll take you all on. Oh, cripes. Come on, turn around. I don't know which ones have RPGs. He's missed. RPGs missed. And we don't can't have all the points yet. Uh, switching to gun pods. There we go. All done. But I, oh, I still don't capture all the points at here. God, god damn it. Rat. Um. Okay, that objective's gonna run out. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're not gonna keep that one. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, um, I've sold my first sortie. Uh, our third, our second, my second ally has left for some reason. But yeah, Galsy90, our friend there, has... He hasn't respawned. He hasn't been shot down since getting the MI2. Since getting in the same helicopter as I'm in. So that's just uh, a sort of testament to how good this helicopter is. Because he was in a K-25, got shot down, gets an MI2. No longer gets shot down. So yeah, really enjoying this helicopter. Just reloading the troops now. So we can go, what should we do next? Uh, I think I have to catch all the positions at landing zone 3. Actually, he's heading towards that. So 
So we might. Oh, let's go after the. Oh, enemy soldier on landing zone one. Right, there's going to be a lot of them. So I'm going to whip out the 23mm first. 23mm gun. It's the NS-23, which is was used for a lot of Soviet aircraft. A lot of MiGs, combat aircraft, carried that. Uh, IL-28, the jet bomber, had NS-23s, forward-facing and in a rear turret. And it was a development of the NR-23, if I'm getting my designations correct, which was the gun fitted to the IL-2. Stemovic ground attack aircraft from World War Two, possibly the most fashion, famous Russian aircraft. Sorry, Spooner Rising, famous in Russian there, famous Russian aircraft of all time. And I'm trying not to. Whoa, whoa. Okay, they got me. They got me, and I hit a ridge as well. I don't even know where those. I don't even know where those RPGs were coming from. There's a heavy MG somewhere. That I'm gonna have to take out. Let's get this fella. And him. And him. Oh, there's still one... Oh, there he is. Our troops of... Ah! I hate the ones in this little ditch here. It's really hard to get to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get him before he's over the hill. There you got him. Right. Cool. And where's this? Where's the? Oh, there's infantry in a marked area. So let's reload my 23 millimeter, get out of the gun pod, and head south. There they are. Nope. I thought they were on a hill. They're not. They've just been lit up by my ally. Trying to have to go in steep here. Got one of them. Turn sharp. There you go, got him. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Right, what objectives have we still got? Only got five objectives left to complete. Is infantry oh infantry in a marked area by landing zone three. So let's head to that one. I think our allies heading to that one as well. Oh there's infantry by landing zone f oh bloody Nora. Thoughts lose them. Whoop. They're not happy. Let's line them all up. Shooting gallery. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I got RPG Hunter achievement because I've hunted a lot of RPG wielding little dudes. Right, so that's capture point five, which will drop off four of my troops. And then head to support the attack on the troops near landing point three. And oh look, an MIT, another MIT URP. <laughs> well, that's testament to just how great this helicopter is. If everyone in the game is using one, just mowing down. Oh, he's got the oh he's got the rockets fitted. That's right. Oh, so he's unlocked. He's unlocked one of the uh, bonus armaments. And we've done it! Hey, What a great game! Okay, we're over on the Nguyen Hei... Hui? Hui? Whatever, I don't... This... The Tier 2 map... I don't care what it's really called. Tier 2 PvE map now, MI2, URP, let's get going. So, in this map, uh, how is it different to the previous one? Uh, well, there are no patrol boats to start with, so... Enemy missions... Any missions... Objectives involving ground vehicles... Will there'll be tanks? Uh, there'll be yeah, tanks to take out instead of patrol boats. So first objective: uh, defend landing zone six. Enemies en route from landing zone seven. So uh, I could potentially go and wipe out landing zone seven. I don't think it's very big. Actually, no. Here they come now. One down, and let's turn hard because we're getting attacked by AA units. 
Oh boy. Whoa! 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 Okay, we're getting attacked by anti-air units from, um... Land LZ-7. So... What I'm going to have to do now is attack that as a pattern. Oh, he's absolutely wiping me out. He's got a very... He's got a serious ROF on that tank. What I have to do is get behind him. And... Yes! Got him! Got him! Shot me the back with the, the 23mm cannon. And that takes him right out. I think... Oh, damn it. Oh, that's a Vulcan. M163 Vulcan. I can't damage him from the front. Gonna have to get behind him. Oh god, he's gonna absolutely annihilate me. Eat that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, headphone users, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, it turns out I can do that. <laughs> well, I did defend the landing zone, so that's one objective down out of five. Um. I'm going to break the rules here. I'm going to hop into an MI-24 while the MI-2 respawns. Oh, that was hilarious. That was absolutely... <laughs> had to take out the Vulcan somehow. Oh, so I just headbutted it. Uh, destroy infantry in a marked area or la capture landing zone 5. Landing zone 5 is currently uninhabited. So that'll be something I can quickly do. Still got a minute. Left. Yeah, I've only got five objectives on this game. I wanted to be a bit shorter. So yeah, you've you've already seen something the MI2 can do that wouldn't happen in uh, Tier One, which is attack armored ground targets like that armored convoy that was attacking one of our LZs. So it can destroy with that 23 mm gun any ground target it comes across, which is very useful in pretty much all of these games. Uh, so I'm now in the MI24 A, you know the the first early variant without the bubble canopy. But still with all of its heavy armaments. Um, I think this one's stock. It's only got the 50 caliber machine gun on the front. Which is in a fixed point instead of a turret. Or a chin turret. And it still carries 8 troops. In that uh, in that compartment behind the cockpit. So we can use those to capture number 5. I think after that I'll go back and switch over back to the MI2. Because it should be done by then. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I might, for the purposes of the video, just ram my helicopter into the ground. Or into the side of a... Let's, let's go really fast into the side of a hill. Because I need to get back into the other helicopter, which should be ready. It's ready. Let's go. Hooray! Bye bye MO24. I try not to talk about you as much as I could because that's not what this video is about. This about video is about this helicopter, the MI2 URP. And we're back in it. And we've got two, three objectives left to do. Destroy enemies around landing zone 3. Uh, I'm not going to get to landing zone 11 so I won't be able to complete that objective. So let's scoot straight over to LZ3. Which is currently on 50% health. Oh, it's being absolutely bombarded by something. Who's taking it out? Let's mop up these infantry dudes. Two RPGs down. Let's hope they don't get eyes on me. Come on, another RPG down. Cool, that's defended. Uh, defend landing zone 6 when attack enemies en route from 7. Oh, not again. Same thing I've did before. Right, let's head over to 6. Which means it's probably going to be another armoured convoy. I should hit it, fr I'll hit it from the front first and take out everything except the tank. Because armoured convoys are always led by an M60. Oh, something's shooting at me. What was that? It's Vulcan down. There's another Vulcan. Oh no, I'm heading too close to 7 again. Run! 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 Get low and run away. Oh dear. 
Yeah, this, it's a it's a pretty fragile helicopter. This don't expect it to last very long in a fight. So let's get this Vulcan. I should have to get the M60. Takes a lot of hits that M60 to take out. Oh, come on. Have to get round him. That's, it. That's that one down. Yes, turn around. Yes, just show me your sides. Yep, take him out from the sides as well. Another, another objective down. I have to go. More tanks destroyed. Capture landing zone 4. Right. Let's reload the gun. And go have a go with the uh, 7.62 PKT gun pods. And go strafe LZ number 4, which I don't think is a particularly heavily guarded one. One down. Two down. There we go. And, oh, there's a convoy there. So we just quickly go after them. Tanks down. Switch into gun pods. Because apparently you can actually take out... Oh, those are heavier ones, those. I think that might be an M90 duster. So we could take out the Vulcan. Is that a duster? Yeah, that's a duster. Rat. Nope. Oh, crap, he got me. Yeah, M19 Dust is based on the M24 Chaffee. A bit heavier. And, well, the game's over, isn't it? Because my ally shot down the last, uh... It says, what, 5 out of 5? Should be the end of the game. There we go. All done. Only a short game. 77 XP. So yeah, that was the MI2 URP in rank one and two PVE games. Um, I'm only so i only really play PVE games, so that's the only ones I could talk about in terms of this helicopter. I suppose it'd be pretty good in uh, PVP games because it's got that 23 millimeter cannon, so it deals more damage per shot than most other aircraft guns at this tier. Other than that, really impressed with this uh, helicopter. Very uh, flexible in terms of role, and carry out pretty much any role. So you can uh, complete most games on your own if you wanted to. But obviously this is a team game, so they probably don't want you doing that. So yeah, expect to see a lot more Heliborn games in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.